Okay, this video is to show the 65 view assembler disassembler project that uh, was written for the CBM64. And I'm going to go through some of the basic functionality and show you. As you can see, this is a screen display. Um, at the top, you've got the cycle count, um, the register count, the breakpoint, uh, the program counter, the interrupt vector, and then you've got your various assembler flags. Uh, for running through, then you've got the accumulator, X register, Y register, and stack pointer. And in the center of the screen, you've got the same register display that you can call up R. Um, on the uh, right side, you can see that, uh, at the <laughs> as far as register display, right below it, there is a stack display. Right below that is memory watch. Um, at the very bottom, you've got the breakpoint list, uh, which is the places that you can set up breakpoints. Um, the point is the actual breakpoint address. The count, you can have a breakpoint go through multiple times uh, before it triggers. You can set the number of times it triggers and the number of times that uh, actually broke through. So, uh, let's go through some basic functionality. Um, you've got your disassembler. Uh, actually, let me uh, find something. You can call up the uh, assembler um, disk, so you can look at your dis different disks, and you can see what's on there. And you can actually stop it at some point by pushing the stop key. And let's see right there. So I want to move. Let's see. Load. This has full disk functionality built into it. C mover, uh, and it will load the C mover. It will tell me the address at which it loads. And they loaded at 6,000, so let's clear the screen. Um, I want to disassemble 6,000, let's say 60 if, uh, 6020. And there is your source code. Um, it's got full mnemonic display. And if I wanted to uh, go through, and let's say I want to look at the memory. You got memory display. This scrolls both ways for both assembly and mnemonics. And also you've got ASCII interrogation. So you can look at the ASCII codes on it. Uh, let's see if I wanted to disassemble 6000, 6020 again. And if I wanted to scroll, you can see that you can go through the whole thing. Both directions works. Um, so if I wanted to walk through the code, um, you can set the center where the actual center line for the current mnemonic, you can set that up to where it goes. Oops. Um, anyway. As you can see, uh, when you're walking through, it has different uh, information. You've got the cycle count within the parentheses. And right there, you can see that the actual load, C100, Y, it actually says C10D. That's the effective address, because if you look at the Y register, it is 0D, and the base address is C100. Um, you can step through with an individual uh, spacebar. Or you can push enter and walk through, push uh, spacebar to stop. Um, and let me see what else. Uh, this, you can actually set the screen setup. If you see, you can move that up and down. Say I only want one breakpoint. You can set the center line for the current mnemonic. Uh, usually I like it center. And then you can set the memory display and you can set the stack display. So if you want to monitor the stack for some reason, uh, let me see what else. It has the ability to convert 6,000. Let's see, 14080. And it tells you that. Um, let's see, Here's some of the commands I do not remember. Uh, you can add. Um, let me see what else does it have. Uh, it's been so long. I wrote this back in the 80s and I've just recently resurrected it. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, this is currently residing at um, the reset vector, so if you do a soft reset, it will come up. Um, you can move this program around. I think it is about 12K long. Um, it is fully relocatable. I've got versions that reside at the uh, 8000 for the reset vector. It's at C1000, 6000, 1000, and I've got various versions that go whichever you can reloc relocate the program with itself. Um, so if you were to actually set up the program where you wanted to move it, um, you can load it in a certain area. Um, you cannot do it to the current running program, but you can load the running pro You can load the editor at a different program and um, actually relocate it. So you can uh, run it wherever you want. 
Anyway, um, any critiquing would be appreciated. Uh, I can make this program available. I'm currently going through with IDA um, Assembler and making full source code for it. So if anybody's interested, please let me know.